What's going on? You're watching ProgressivePulse.com. I'm Steve Rodriguez. We are here on the Lower East Side in New York City at Macondo, Macondo Street Food. Inside, outside here, we're here with Nova, head of Pachá Massive. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Macondo hooked us up with some signature cocktails. We'll just... Salud. Salud. Very nice. Very nice. Well, congratulations on your new project, uh, if you want it. Thank you so much. Uh, this is your second album. Uh, first of all, I love the album. It went number one on the Latin music charts, correct? In um, iTunes and Amazon, too. And it's been like top three, top ten in a bunch of other like radio charts and stuff. I couldn't tell you right now. Cool. So great su success to you on that. Thank you. So this new um, this project is sort of a continuation of the first in that you mix Latin with electronica, uh, reggaeton, um, dance hall. Um, how, did, for you, did it depart, or does it depart from the first album? Well, it doesn't really depart from the from the first album. In as far as what the elements are that make it up, maybe the proportion of the elements might be a little different, but it still has, you know, the electronic aspect of it, the the Caribbean aspect of it, which includes the dance hall and reggae aspects of it. Um, also, you know, cumbia, a little bit of Brazilian music as well, everything together, maybe in different proportions, but basically essentially the same as the first one. The first single, If You Want It, title track of the album, uh, has a very dance vibe, and I notice a lot of the tracks uh, have a dance element to it as well as uh, a lot of remixes, which is great. Do you, is dance music really big for you? Well, yeah, I love to dance, you know, <laughs> and most people do, so I try to, even though a lot of people perceive my music to be chill when I do it, I kind of picture myself dancing to it. So I hope it kind of um, transfers that you know feeling. This time around, as well as the first time, you worked with a lot of female vocalists, um, great artists on there. Um, t talk to me a little bit about some of the artists that are on this album. Well, we have uh, Liz Wright, which um, is in a band called Love Grenades. They're um, out of the West Coast. Um, we have, uh, who else do we have? We have uh, Sara Valenzuela from Mexico. She's pretty well known over there. She's also on the same label as, um, as we are. Um, we also have a girl that worked on the first album, Yassi. And a great artist from here, from New York City, called Monica Rodriguez, who's in a band called Sigma. She sings tonight, she sings um, If You Want It, and she sings Lejos y Cerca. Right, some of my favorite tracks on the album. Yeah, she's just amazing. Cool. What was it like, because um, you write all the material on the album, correct? And yeah. what's your writing process? Because I read somewhere where you kind of go into the studio, but it's not so formulaic. You kind of let it roll as you go in the studio? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's not a formula. Sometimes you wake up and you have a beat in mind. Today, I had a dream and I had a song in my head and when I woke up, I forgot about it and I, I, I felt really mad because it was really catchy. So, you know, it can start with anything. It can start with a dream, just a feeling that you have, maybe some great cocktails and stuff like that. Um, and when it comes to collaborating with other artists, I mean, I try not to, uh, uh, um, I try just to let things kind of flow and then I work with whatever we end up having from that session. Well, this album, um, I know the cover has like a mixtape on it. Like I said, there's a lot of remix on it. Um, was that kind of a vibe you wanted it to have where it just kind of flows from beginning to end? Because when I listen to it, it seems like you can kind of press play and just let it go the whole time. Yeah, well, kind of. But to tell you the truth, iTunes had a, a, a something to do with the order of the album because, you know, you kind of work with the songs for so, so long of a time and you really kind of lose perspective, so I just let iTunes randomly play the songs. And one day it had pretty much that order, and I'm like, hmm, that works, and that was it, basically. Oh, so you actually put it on your iTunes yeah. and let it random mix for you and kind of create the order? Well, in this case, yeah. For your last album, you toured a lot for the project. Um, you went to Istanbul, correct? Yeah. Um, what's the whole, how has the, um, the public received you? Man, so far it's been pretty amazing in Istanbul. 
for example, people there were shouting to us in Spanish, you know, and who speaks Spanish in Istanbul? But they were like, cerveza, you know, singing the songs and everything. So it's, um, it, it's an experience that really opens up your eyes and your mind to, to how really, you know, not to use cliches or anything, but music is really a universal language and doesn't matter what language you, you um, do it on. I mean, everybody kind of understands and, and meets each other on a level field, you know. Which is great, and one of the things about language is that you seamlessly on the album and the first album um, blend English and Spanish, uh, even the vocalists. Um, they'll start in Spanish and then all of a sudden seamlessly blend into English and in, there's never a point where you feel like, wow, that was awkward. And talk to me a little bit about you know blending the two. Well, um, I think for those of us who speak both languages, I think that's kind of like the way we think, you know what I mean? When we are trying to speak in one language, I think it's harder than how things kind of appear in our heads because we could just be, oh, come on, come on, come on, Teva, you want to eat something? Type of deal, you know? So, Very familiar family. Yeah, exactly. So when you're writing music, it, I kind of tend to not let that filter, you know, interfere with the process. So basically whatever I see in my mind, I just try to put it down as soon as possible. Cool. Well, you spend most of your time in New York City and get a lot of inspiration here, right here? Yeah, of course. I mean, who couldn't get inspiration here? It's, you know, a place where, you you know, right now if you want to eat Indian food, you just walk a few blocks and you have Indian food. Right here we have Latin food. Chinatown is, you know, a few blocks away from here. So it's a place where you have every culture right in your face. And, I mean, you, you would have to be really stubborn not to be inspired by everything that, that, you know, we have here in New York City. Now, I know there's a lot of uh, vocalists on the album. Will any of them get to tour with you on the... Yeah, I think uh, Monica Rodriguez is going to be, um, you know, moving around with us a little bit. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, thanks so much for hanging out with me. And uh, the new project, if you want it, is out now. People can get it uh, iTunes, correct? iTunes, Amazon, pretty much any website that sells, you know, electronic music. If you want to order the, the CD, the physical CD, Amazon, or you can walk to whatever remaining music stores are there. What, where do you buy CDs nowadays? Only iTunes right now, man. Uh, yeah. There you go. Well, thanks so much, Nova. Thank you, man. And cheers. Much continued success. Thank you.